Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to do an easy sugar and salt peter smoke bomb. And yeah, <coughs> you'll need sugar, salt peter, a canister to have it in. I just took a, yeah, a can <laughs> of some sort. Um, where am A lighter to light it on fire. And yeah, that, and a well ventilated area because it smokes a lot. And also, if you know, it's pretty obvious. Have water nearby, like in a can or something, or a glass, or you don't need too much water. So yeah, uh, let's get started. I use about, and this is not with heating it up. It's much easier, and it works great. And I use about. Two to three table or uh, teaspoons of sugar. This time I will take three. As you see there, sugar, what sugar? And then I take some saltpeter. And yeah, I should be able to get this at the uh, <coughs> normal grocery store. I had a hard time finding it actually. But I wasn't really looking for it either. A little bit more, maybe because I didn't get too much out of that. So, something like that. And that's today, the other one. I will actually show you two kinds of it one in a can, and one in just this. Because uh, looking at fire, it burns. And yeah, we're going to light it on fire now, and you can look at that. So, yeah. So guys, now we're going to light it on fire. It could be a bit of a problem, I'm just going to shake it around a bit. And I'm going to light it like this, because I think that's the easiest. And then you stand it up. That's one actually light it down really easily. You can see how much it smokes. And we just try to set this lid on it. Yeah, well that didn't help. Oh. Be very careful. You see that that tire looks a bit. And it has nearly burnt out now. And the can doesn't look like it was or as before. That's pretty hot, so I'm just going to try to stand it up. So like that. I'm going to pour some water into it because it's very hot too. Plus, I want to stop the fire and cool down the can so I can move it. And I'm going to do one more test. Um, I'm just going to move this away. And then we're going to try in that lid that is all black now. Yep, so we're going to test that now. So guys, or so guys, this is going to be um, open fire smoke bomb test just for fun. Plus you can see the fire. Light it on fire if you want to, and I have my water besides me. So, that's on pretty easily, I guess. And you can see how much it burns. And I remind you that what I've heard it's not a toxic smoke. But that's what I've heard. But it could be, I'm not sure. Here you just see how it burns. Really nice. Can you see it's still sugar on the sides? I'll try to light down on fire. 
because it's pretty much lit. So like that. I actually think I can move the tripod or the camera a little bit closer now. Sick. You can see it there. Smokes pretty much. And this is just so you can see how it looks when it burns. And that's the nice gooey mesh you get out of it I try to light this on fire once more I'm not sure if it will yes it would for a little bit a little bit yeah so uh, I'm just going to Cool it down with some water again. Just because I'm safe. We're a bit safe. So like that. So like that. And a reminder just. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use glass for this. I've done four tries now. And the first one was in a glass kind of bottle. And it's not a good idea at all. It broke. So yeah. Doesn't look that nice anymore. Or it didn't even do that before. Yeah. And the other glass piece laid here. Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend to do it with glass. It was kind of idiotic. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next thing. Yeah, whatever I do. So bye.